Uh, unfortunately, I missed your speech because uh, I had to take a test compelled by the capitalist system. Uh, I have, uh, I have uh, heard some of your uh, previous comments about Marx and Marxism, and uh, as somebody who's read a little bit of Marx, I find them to be misinformed or, if we're not being politically correct here, pretty ignorant. Uh, especially about the prediction that the uh, capitalist class or system will destroy itself automatically, uh, and your comments about state ownership being the goal. So, I was wondering two things. One, which of your, which of Marx's writings, which of the stuff that he wrote specifically, have you read, and used that to base your analysis of Marxism off of? And second, could you define socialism in a way that is related to Marxism and not just completely, you know? Separated from it, you know, that way you can, you know, point to like Hitler and call him a socialist in a way that Marx would not agree with. Well, first of all, if the capitalist system is forcing you to take a test and you went along with it, you're obviously a very pathetic sellout of the capitalist system. <laughs> you should have taken a, strong, a stance of, of bold independence and said, I don't care about capitalism, I don't care about the test, I want real knowledge, I'm going to hear D'Souza. <laughs> but you didn't do that, that's okay. Um, look, um, Marx, envisioned a socialism that would occur in two phases. The first would be the dictatorship of the proletariat, and then pure communism, in which the state itself would wither away. There'd be no state at all. That was Marxist doctrine. Where do, where do you get that from? That the state will wither away? Well, no, I mean that whole that schema, you know, dictatorship of the proletariat and all that. Which, oh. which of Marx's writings are you specifically drawing upon? Yeah, so we have to, what we have to do is we have to move from the early Marx uh, the prolegomena to Hegel, um, the early writings of Marx through Das Kapital, through the Communist Manifesto. Now there are some collaborations with Engels in which you can, it's hard to disentangle one from the other. So there's an evolution in Marx. But I'm saying that, that early Marx was a little bit more liberal, which is to say more compatible with, lib with, with liberal democracy than later Marx. As Marx became radicalized over time, his, his doctrine of communism solidified. Socialism is to communism, socialism is the economic wing of communism. Now, you're right, Marx didn't envision state takeovers of anything, but every actual socialist regime has done that. Every regime professing socialism has actually taken over industry and established government control over it, starting with Lenin. So, I guess what I was doing is moving from Marxist theory to Marxist praxis, to action. And I don't know how to understand ideologies without looking at their practitioners. Imagine if somebody were to say that I profess true Christianity, but there are no Christians in the world. Everybody who actually says that they're a Christian is not a real Christian. I, pr I envision a Christianity that is not practiced by any so-called Christian, you'd be like, well, how do I make sense of what you're saying? All these people profess to be Christians, and if we can't look at what they think and what they believe and what they do, what is Christianity apart from Christians? So similarly, what is Marxism apart from Marxists who have actually tried to implement those ideologies? 